To send an automated email, first we need to have a service named Logic Apps. So Logic Apps is like a service which will just execute on request basis. So let's create a service which is called the Logic Apps. You can just uh, see here in the dashboard itself and you can directly click on create and choose the right subscription and let's name our Logic App. And we are going to publish that in a workflow and here while we are selecting this we can just select as the consumption model not like the standard one because we don't have any subscription or anything and all you can do is just click on next and create it and here we have our resource been created now let's go to the resource Here you can select when a HTTP request is received. Now in the request body, you need to click on use a sample payload to generate the schema. Here we can enter what details we exactly want. So first we want to know what pipeline got failed. So we can type pipeline name and just ensure these are just key value pairs, which is exactly the format of JSON. And you can leave this as blank. We also gave data factory name and let's also give the run ID. Now you can just click on done and automatically it will be created. Now we need to send a post email. So you can click on method and you can select the method as post because we are copying this body content in an web activity and we are posting this. And the next step would be sending an email. For that we can choose the Outlook or Gmail whichever one you have. For this scenario I am selecting the Outlook. You can select 365 and type send email. Now once you click on it sometimes you may get an error message stating that the window has closed automatically. To prevent this you need to just allow all the third party cookies so that the logic apps will be executed. Now coming to two section, you can just enter any group email or any specific individual email. For this video, I'm just entering my email. And we need to specify a subject. And coming to the body, we can tell what pipeline, what data factory and what run ID here. So I'm just keeping a generic one. You can just design as you want. Coming to pipeline name, we need to keep this as a dynamic one. So you can click on the dynamic content and just type pipeline. So this will just pull up the properties, the one which we entered in the HTTP request body. And next we are choosing about data factory name. And same in the dynamic content, you can type data factory. Okay, now we are done. And here you can also choose the importance level. It is low importance, normal or high. So as the pipeline failure will be having a great effect, we can choose it as high. And you can click on save. And we can see it, it got saved and we got a HTTP post URL. And we're gonna use this URL in the data factory. Now let's go to the data factory. Now here in the data factory, we are going to make use of that logic app and we are going to send an alert email. For that, we need to get an alert email at every phase of failure. For example, if the failure happened on the transform, we need to get an alert email. Else, if it is at load phase, we need to get an alert email. For that, we are going to use three activities of web here so that each will act as our condition. If you use a single activity, which is just joining all, it will treat as and so let us see what exactly I mean first let's go to a web activity and we are going to pass the URL so let's copy this URL and paste it over here coming to the API method we can choose post and coming to the body we're going to write the details that we want so we want the pipeline name and we need to open that in at 
and level brackets because this should be treated as a string so coming to the system variables we will have the information of the pipeline name here you can select pipeline name and next we can enter the data factory and the run id now you can click on ok and we have everything defined now you just need to have three web activities and you need to connect that with on fail here if you are choosing just like this now this will work only when all these three were failed because this will treat as and if you are sure about the how the logic works if this pipeline and this pipeline and this pipeline got failed only in such case this will be triggered so we just want to trigger even if any of the one got failed for that we just need to define one for each you can just copy and paste and now let us simulate a failure situation here so let's go to extract which is this now we wantedly do something mess up so that we will not get any run and we should be have a fail activity so let us see where we can exactly do the mess up thing okay we can mess it up over here we can just open the data set and we can just uh, love some random values in the directory name and let us see if this is going to mess up our pipeline or not just click on validate and let's click on debug okay so now we can see our pipeline got failed and our web activity got succeeded so we are successfully able to mess up something and we are able to trigger this simulation now let us open our email here so here you can see and this is with high importance with that exclamation mark and you can just open it here and it is showing me which pipeline got messed up so here you can see this is the pipeline name where it is having the issue and it is also showing the run id where we can just uh, keep a track of it so this is how we can just orchestrate everything and we can also send a custom alert whenever there is an issue in the pipeline and you can just publish all so that your environment will be completely automated and it is going to send an alert email if there is any issue in any of the thing and in the coming video let us see about the rest of the things